Hi guys, it's Katrina from Maine Coon Central. If you haven't already checked out my website, it is maincooncentral.com. Now before we start talking about the top seven Maine Coon health issues, I want to just remind you to click subscribe and hit that ring a bell at the top to make sure that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Now, today's a little bit different. I feel like I'm being banished to the uh, hallway. Um, we've got conference calls going on in pretty much all the rooms of the house and it is simply impossible to make a video for this upcoming week. So I'm going to do my best and see how it goes. So keep tuned. Let's cover the main Coon health issues that you need to keep an eye out for. Now the first issue we're going to cover is hip dysplasia. What exactly is it? Hip dysplasia occurs when the cat's hip joints fail to develop normally, resulting in ball and socket dislocation. The disease is characterised by a gradual deterioration and ultimate loss of hip joint functions. Although generally rare in the cat world, this disease is often found in large cat breeds such as the Maine Coon, particularly if the cat is purebred. It affects more females than males and is known to cause arthritis. Some studies even suggest that 18% of the Maine Coon cat population are actually affected. Hip dysplasia is a disease not considered to be life-threatening. However, it is still vital that owners know the warning signs to watch out for since hip dysplasia can lead to paralysis. Now, the early signs that owners can look for are actually less easy to spot. The first being joint laxity or looseness and the second is hip joint pain. So if you notice any of these, please speak to your vet immediately. Now, there are some other symptoms of hip dysplasia that you can watch for, 10 in fact. So if you want to find out more, feel free to click the link in the description below to find out what they are. The second issue we're going to discuss is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So what exactly is this? Now, feline hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, also known as HCM, occurs when there is a thickening of the muscular walls surrounding a cat's heart, which then negatively affects the heart's efficiency levels. One of the difficulties in identifying hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is that many cats with this condition show no signs of even being sick. A lack of symptoms doesn't mean you can ignore the disease though, since HCM can actually cause sudden death. Let's move on to cover the health conditions that your Maine Coon cat may have if they are suffering from HCM. Firstly, blood clots in the heart. Secondly, thromboembolism. Thirdly, acute hind limb pain or paralysis. Fourthly, a rapid heartbeat. Fifth, their heart will be irregular, maybe too slow, or too rapid. And finally, they might have a weak pulse. If you're interested in learning more about hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, then scoot over to my website by clicking on the link in the description below. The third health condition that we're going to cover is spinal muscular atrophy, otherwise known as SMA. So what exactly is this? Let's find out. Spinal muscular atrophy is a hereditary genetic disease that may actually shorten the lifespan of your Maine Coon kitten. Although the disease is not thought to be fatal or painful, it is thought to cause a weakened muscle development and it occurs when there is a loss of motor neurons in a cat's lower spinal cord and muscle deterioration in their hind limbs. SMA is characterised by a cat's progressive instability, unsteady gait and posture abnormalities. Maine Coon kittens with SMA 
people lead normal, happy lives as long as they are kept indoors, since their mental functions remain completely normal. Owners should, however, not let their kitten or cat with this condition outside, since they require a higher level of care than a cat that's not been affected by SMA. Let's take a look at some of the signs and symptoms of SMA. Symptoms will show as early as three to four months of age. And in fact, by five to six months of age, a kitten with this condition will find it difficult to jump onto furniture and may appear somewhat clumsy when jumping down from high surfaces. So let's look at the symptoms in more detail. The key symptoms of spinal muscular atrophy are firstly that the rear end of a kitten sways as they walk. A kitten's posture may also appear abnormal. Another symptom of spinal muscular atrophy is that the kitten will struggle to jump. They might also show progressive muscular instability and weakness. And finally, you might also notice that they are twitching. If you're interested in learning more about the condition of SMA, make sure you click on the link below in the description. The fourth health issue that we're going to cover is called stomatitis. So what exactly is this? Let's find out. Stomatitis is a common Maine Coon health issue that this cat breed is prone to develop in. It can affect both male and female Maine Coon cats and is characterised by painful mouth ulcers and an inflammation of the cat's gums and mouths. So what can you look for? Are there any signs? Well, the first sign or symptom to look for is a loss of appetite. The second is an unexplained weight loss. Other symptoms of stomatitis include bad breath, pouring at face or mouth, dropping food, messy coat of fur, and yelping when they eat. If you'd like to learn more about this particular Maine Coon Cat health condition, make sure you click on the link below in the description. The fifth Maine Coon Cat health condition that we're going to cover is called periodontal disease. So what is it? Let's find out. Periodontal disease is extremely common. This health condition affects cats teeth and mouth and you will probably know it as gum disease. Periodontal disease is made up of three stages. The first is halitosis. The second is gingivitis. The third is periodontis. So if we look at the stages of periodontal disease in greater detail, you'll be able to get an understanding of whether your Maine Coon cat has any of these conditions or not. Number one, halitosis. This occurs when a cat eats and food residue becomes trapped in between their gums and teeth. The residue then interacts with the bacteria naturally living within a cat's mouth and the process of rotting begins. As the food rots, an offensive odour is released. So basically, what you can derive from that is that halitosis is characterised by smelly breath. The second stage of periodontal disease is known as gingivitis. This occurs when there is a buildup of plaque, also known as a sticky bacteria, on the surface of a cat's teeth. The cat's immune system will naturally try to remove this plaque by releasing toxins to fight it. When this happens, a Maine Coon's gums become inflamed. This particular condition is reversible, though it is thought that 80% of cats that are aged three plus years of age have the condition. The final stage of periodontal disease is known as periodontitis. It occurs when a cat's gingivitis is not treated immediately. It is characterised by periodontal ligament damage, receding gums and bone loss. Sadly, periodontitis 
is not reversible. However, if your cat does have periodontitis, it is still worth asking your veterinary professional to assess your cat's condition and if possible, mechanically remove the tartar that has built up on their cat's teeth. If you're interested to learn more about this particular condition, then make sure you click on the link in the description below. The sixth Maine Coon health condition that I'm going to cover is known as polycystic kidney disease. So what is this? Keep listening to find out. Polycystic kidney disease is known as PKD for short. It is a hereditary condition whereby cats are born with cysts growing on their kidneys. During the course of a Maine Coon's lifespan, these cysts will increase in size at varying rates. Most cysts grow slowly and are not usually evident until a Maine Coon reaches seven years old. Unfortunately, if any of these particular pockets of fluid grow too large, they can impact the cat's kidney functions, resulting in kidney failure. What we do know about this particular condition is that it is caused by an autosomal dominant gene abnormality. So how do we spot PKD? What exactly are its symptoms? Let's take a closer look. The first symptom of PKD is weight loss. The second is increased thirst. The third is lethargy. The fourth is loss of appetite. The fifth is vomiting. And the sixth is frequent urination. If you're interested to learn more about PKD, then make sure you click in the link below. The seventh Maine Coon health issue that we're going to cover is obesity. Now you may or may not know that Maine Coons are one of the largest domesticated cat breeds in the world. In fact, many people will tell you that they are the largest. Unfortunately, one of the common downsides to their large physical frame is that the owners do not understand that this is a cat breed that grows very slowly. Whilst the average cat is fully grown by two years old, this is not the case when it comes to a Maine Coon cat. Instead, the Maine Coon will not be fully grown until between three and five years of age. Now this is actually the reason that many owners then overfeed their Maine Coon cat and make them obese. They are simply worried that their Maine Coon has not reached the sizes that they expected this large cat breed to reach. What has actually happened though is the Maine Coon just hasn't yet fully grown.